1930. Yeah, shall we start? Yes. Okay. I think I'll be starting tonight, right? <clears throat> uh, good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. My name is Mahmoud al Adraj and I'll be the Sergeant at Arms for today's meeting. I welcome you all to the 60th meeting of the Bahrain IT Professional Toastmasters Club. Before starting the meeting, I would like to mention three ground rules, uh, which we follow in our Toastmaster meetings. As Toastmasters, we don't talk about religion and politics, so please refrain from discussing these topics. Uh, please put yourself on mute if you are not speaking and turn off your video if you are stepping out of the meeting as everybody in their life has a mission to achieve their goals. Likewise, our Toastmasters Club also has a mission. The mission of our Toastmasters Club is to provide a mutually supportive and positive learning environment in which every member has the opportunity to develop, communicate, and leadership skills. Uh, to develop communication and leadership, leadership skills, uh, which in turn foster self-confidence and personal growth. With this, let me welcome our club president, Mr. Ahmed al Balushi, to take control and call the meeting to order. Over to you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sergeant at Arms. And that, I would like to call the meeting to order. Hello, Toastmasters, dear guests. Good evening, wonderful and excellent night and day to meet you all over here with us. And I'm so excited that I'm, we are having uh, many guests over here. Let me just keep it on the on the gallery mode so I can see all the names regardless. We always seek positivity in our life and how we can accomplish to be positive person. And for sure, this is, you can achieve it by following the positive attitudes. Now, positive attitudes is something belongs to everyone on this earth, but how you can achieve that, how you can gain the skills to be there at that road of being a good person who will add value to the community, to the family, to the world, everywhere that they are stepping forward over there. But before I go inside to my speech, I would like to welcome our guests who are honoring us tonight here with us. And um, I will start with the first one who joined us, Toastmaster Ken Agutu. If you don't mind, just please introduce yourself. Thank you so much. My name is Ken Agutu and I'm logging in from Kenya. I'm a member of the Kisumu Toastmasters Club. Kisumu sits on the shores of Lake Victoria. I'm the vice president in charge of membership of the club and it's really, really, really nice to join you tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Ken. And now I'll go with uh, Toastmaster Anam, Anam Arwa, if you just introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. So my name is Anam, Anam Arwa, and I'm here as a guest, and I'm a chartered accountant by profession, and I work for Deloitte UK, and right now I'm here as a guest because of Arshian. He's a good friend of mine. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much, Anam, for being here with us tonight. Uh, Swapna Tala, if you can introduce yourself, please. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, thank you so much for having me here. Myself, uh, Swapna Tala, and I'm here as a guest invited by Arshia. Thank you, Arshia. And it's wonderful to be here and uh, just to introduce myself very briefly. 
I work as a PMO at PNET, uh, Corporate Security. I've been here in Bahrain for um, a couple of years now, and it's been, uh, you know, there's been COVID since I've come here. Haven't had much opportunity to meet people. And so I guess this is a very good platform where I get to see all of, uh, you know, you interesting people, hoping to get to know you all and be part of this community. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Swapna, for your introduction. And you are so welcome with us tonight over here. And we are sure that you will be an added value to our group over here. Thank you very much. Sarah Ibrahim. Sarah. Sarah, can you introduce yourself, please? Yes, yes. hello, everyone. Uh, this is Sarah here. And actually, I am a Toastmaster myself. And I have been following Bahrain IT Professionals Toastmasters Club for a very long time. And I was uh, trying to uh, prioritize my uh, daily uh, activities just to watch uh, other Toastmasters. Uh, I'm more of a, a learner myself. So I wanted to see how it is actually done. And I have been a past Gavel master, so I know the tips and tricks to public speaking very well. Uh, so right now I'm a Toastmaster at Young Adult Toastmasters Club, but uh, I want to become a DTM very soon. So I'm just looking into what are my potential clubs that I can <laughs> get attached to. <laughs> I am actually an engineering student who is aspiring to become a data scientist in the future. Uh, so that is all about me. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Sarah. Thank you very much. Yes. I encourage you to continue with this uh, journey of data scientists. They are the mostly paid now nowadays. So it's, it's a great path that you have selected and I wish you all the best, inshallah. Now we have, uh, let me just see, Toastmaster Mudaffar. I'm not counting Toastmaster Noha to be a guest, although I will introduce her because she is, she's a member. She's always with us all the time. Toastmaster Mudaffar Ali. Maybe he's busy, Toastmaster Mudaffar. Okay, we will go now with Noha. Noha, actually, as I told you before, Noha, she's not a guest. She's always with us. She's always inspiring us with her presence, with her activities that she's doing in her club, and then the division level, within the district level. And she's a very active person. Toastmaster Noha, if you can honor us with your voice. How are you doing? Good, Alhamdulillah. Actually, actually, I was about to complain that I never received any invitation to join uh, PITD as a member. Never until now. And you know I come from an engineering background, but uh, you said that I'm, I am practically a member, so I can't say that anymore. Yes, you are a member. And Our VPN is listening. Our VPN is listening. Maybe he will send you a membership from now. <laughs> no, okay, no, no, you, no. Are. <laughs> you are always welcome to Master Noha. I mean, if you want to join us, I mean, you will be honored to be with us, actually. Well, it will be my honor, but I find myself, every, every club I join, I find myself suddenly in the XCOM. And I'm, I'm handling so many XCOMs right now. So thank, thank you, you very much. Thank uh, you very much, Master. Over to you. Thank you very much to be here with us and for uh, for accepting the role of our counter also. Thank you very much. Uh, we have Toastmaster Maryum Ranjat. If you can introduce yourself. Yes, this is Toastmaster okay. Maryam Rangat, all the way from Kuwait. I would like to thank Toastmaster Recording for inviting me here. Such a delighted to be a part of this meeting today. Looking forward to a great meeting. I'm a Area 17 Director and VP Education of Kuwait Leaders Toastmaster Club. Thank you, and over to you, MashaAllah. Welcome. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Mariam, to be here with us tonight and taking the role of evaluator also. We are honored to, 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 to see you over here and to be here with us tonight as well. And with that, let me just uh, give you a, a small address of one or two minutes. I always like to be positive and, and saying my addresses, although I said some opening at the beginning, but what I would like to pass or to transform to you 
is that Toastmaster is one of the greatest journey for anyone. Maybe some people, they do not see the value of Toastmaster because they didn't try. If you don't complete the journey, then you will not know what are the objectives or what are the benefits that you will gain in the future. But I would not say less than that you may be one day a speaker on a TEDx uh, platform. Why? Because it's really, you learn a lot of things within the Toastmaster journey. It's not only about uh, leadership, it's, uh, it's, it's about how you communicate with others, how you understand others, how you know, how do they feel, how do you speak with them, the self-concept, the self-awareness, you know the inner of you, the conscious, the subconscious of the person, all these things in Toastmaster, you learn them. And once you learn these things, then you are talking about neural things, things about that goes beyond the human mentality or the human understanding or concepts. And that's why I always encourage specifically uh, those people who are looking for a better future, for a better uh, uh, career, for a better improvement of their own personal life. Toastmaster is a great place for everyone. It has been for me, it has added a lot of value to my life, to my family, to my work, to my society, with my friends. And also I'm sure that it will do the same thing to everyone over here. Those who are temporarily coming to the Toastmaster meetings and joining and seeing what does it do, it is much, much more than this. Discipline and commitment in the meetings and knowing, understanding the journey of it, it will help you a lot to gain those precious benefits. With that, I would like to start our meeting. Do, uh, we have the business session now, yeah, or later? Uh, today we don't have Mr. President the business session. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry because I didn't see the agenda. I was just, um, I didn't get it actually, maybe because it's all online. Um, so with that then, I would like now to introduce our Master of, Cer Master of Ceremonies, one of the most active members, uh, member in, in, in Bahrain IT professional Toastmaster Club. He's within our XCOM. He's our vice president for public relation. He's a person who never know what is no. He don't accept the word no. Positive. He always like to help others. He always like to participate in events. He like the social interference with others. And he's a person of his words. When he will tell you something, he will be committed to what he says. Please let us welcome Toastmaster Tawfiq Qadr. We all have dreams. In order to make dreams come into reality, it takes an awful lot of determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. Champion Jesse Owens. Olympic gold medalist. Thank you, Mr. President, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. It is my privilege and pleasure to welcome you all to the Bahrain ID Professionals Toastmasters Club. The theme today is the BITP speech marathons, where we all require vitamin C is to look at ourselves as champion. So may I request the host, please put the immersive view and let us see all of us in a champion mode today and take the picture. Whoever please would like to restrict themselves can switch off their camera, but we'd like to have all of you with us as champions. And I would request also, please unmute yourself, unmute yourself and say, I, and champion together. I am champion. 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 Count of three. One, two, three. I, I am, am a champion. champion. Great. Do we have that in the picture, please? Host, technical host, the one in the center, Toastmaster Wicker. Have you got the picture? Toastmaster of the day, can I say something? Please, sir. Will you please relocate 
Toastmaster Mahmoud. Okay, now it's better. Because he was covering my face. <laughs> I corrected my situation, don't worry. <laughs> I'm tall enough. <laughs> I shortened this, myself. This is the champion CGD we got. He always keeps us motivated. So do we have everyone's picture, Toastmaster Vicar? Yes, Dan, Mr. Tia Modi, thank you. Thank you. So can we have back to the normal screen, please? Thank you. We love that vitamin C and hope this championship continues ever in VITP. For the benefits of the guests, I would like to explain the structure of our meeting. The meeting is divided in two rounds. The first is the prepared speech round where members will be delivering speeches based on the projects and paths that they have chosen the second part of the session is the evaluation round in which all the prepared speeches as well as other aspects of the session will be evaluated by the general evaluator who was just sitting on the center and his tag team. So let me welcome the very first champion for today's evening without which we can't keep up with the time. Toastmaster Ravi Pulamala, who will be the official timer for today. He's a mechanical engineer by profession, having six and a half years of experience in pharmaceutical industry and more than two years in experience in cryogenic gas industry, where he has learned and gained experience on TCP IP and got him interested in BITP as he's involved in networking of the nurse stations which is very critical for hospitals. He's also happened to be my mentee and he will be playing the role of timer for the very first time. The champion timer, Toastmaster Ravi, the virtual screen is yours. Please applaud him with a big round of applause. Toastmaster Ravi. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster of the day. It's a pleasure for me. Greetings, President, Toastmaster of the Day, fellow Toastmaster, and distinguished guests. I am Ravi. My role is timer. Today, as a timer, I will, I will time the speakers and evaluations. I will also alert each speaker of the day of the time they have left using the green, yellow, and red cards. There are uh, different types of speech, uh, different times for speeches. If the speech time is three minutes, you will have a green card at one minute and a yellow card at two minutes and red card at three minutes. Uh, as well as it will continue for the five minute speech, seven minute speech and 15 minute speech. At five minute speech, sorry. Sorry, at seven minutes speech, you will have a green card, green card at five minutes, and yellow card at six minutes, and red card at seven minutes. And the each time for each speaker is evaluated in uh, evaluated according to their agenda. And please ensure you all uh, as a Allowance usually 30 minutes grace period time as allotted. And this is a role of timer. And thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Over to your screen. Thank you, Toastmaster Ravi. May we have that corrected, please? It's not 30 minutes. We can't have a long session. So can you please- Sorry, 30 seconds. Sorry, 30 seconds. Apologies. Thank you. And we have only one speaker turn today. I, I guess VP can correct that. We have only five to seven minutes. Yes, all the speeches, five to seven minutes. Yes. Five to seven. So timer, can you make a note? Five to seven minutes is the speaker time. And evaluation, Toastmaster Vikar? Two to three minutes. So timer, have you got that right? Evaluator, yeah, the speakers is five to seven. 
and uh, evaluators yes three minutes correct two to three minutes two minutes is the minimum two two minutes 30 seconds will be the middle and the three minutes is last and 30 seconds is the grace grace yes thank you the next important personality and the champion he's a young champion in toastmaster however surely data savvy personality having over 12 years of experience in apps and databases his objective to join the toastmasters club is to gain skills and experience through participating with professional people and exchange the experiences please give a round of applause for a young dynamic but experience toastmaster sayed abbas who will be the grammarian for today thank you toastmaster tofiq toastmaster of the day tofiq fellow toastmaster distinguished toastmaster and guests as a grammarian it is my responsibility to pay close attention to all speakers listening carefully to their language usage. I will take note of any improper language as well as any outstanding words, quotes, saying, or thoughts. As a grammarian, it is also my duty to introduce the word of the day. For today's meeting, the word is champion, which means anything that take first place in a competition. An example of using the word is Toastmaster International, the world champions of public speaking began in 1938. <clears throat> Another example from Middle East, Muhammad Abdullah Gahtani, won, won public speaking champion in year 2015. Each speaker is encouraged to use the word of the day. I will give the grammarian's report when called upon during the meeting and report on the usage of the word of the day. Back to you, Toastmaster of, for today, Toastmaster Tofiq. Thank you, Toastmaster Sayed. A champion by heart and truly committed teammate. We just heard her. She's a translator with a passion for teaching toddlers, which gives her an excuse for consuming more crayons, colors, and clay, spending a fortune on stationery. A mother of four, she says, but the strange thing is one which she got married to 11 years. So you must be guessing it right. She's a mother of three, and the fourth one is a husband. My journey, she says in Toastmaster, started with visiting clubs from around the world and ended up landing as a member of four clubs, two of which are in our very District 20. I'm sure CGD will be very happy. I'm here on a domestic tour, she says, to get to know my home district clubs, learn from them, and make long lasting friendship, which doing that, I still keep my eyes on the WCPS and aspire to be the first Sudanese to win the title. Taking up this role, the very last moment, a true championship spirit, I must say, please welcome the champion Toastmaster Nua as our counter. The virtual screen is all yours, Toastmaster Nua. Thank you, Toastmaster Tofiq, for that wonderful introduction. Mr. Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and guests, the purpose of an ah counter is to note words and sounds that are used as a crutch or pause filler by anyone who speaks today. During the meeting, I will listen for overused words, including and, will, but, so, you know, and so on. I will also listen for the filler sounds, including ah, um, er, and I will keep, will also keep a note when a speaker repeats a word or a phrase such I, I, this means, this means, as the end, at the end of the meeting, I will report the number of times each speaker used these expressions. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Nuha. 
The meeting has to be absorbed with tag, but to control the tag and to make sure our overall meeting is monitored, we have the champions of champion. His simple desire to get more, more, he eats, he sleeps, he drinks, and even talks Toastmasters. My mentor, he has a simple desire to become a better communicator and a leader. He became a Toastmaster at BITP in 2020. Earlier, he was in my shoes as VPPR and presently serving as VPE. He's also serving as head of marketing in CGD and PQ, PQD for Area 3. Please welcome with virtual applause, Nana Nadin, Toastmaster Muhammad Wikar. Take it away. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Greeting, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Tawfiq. Champion, fellow Toastmasters, guest. The purpose of general evaluator is to evaluate everything that takes place throughout the meeting. During the meeting, I have already started the notes on everything that happened or doesn't happen. I will evaluate each participant on the meeting. Program, good example of preparation, organization, delivery, enthusiasm, observation and performance of duties. At the end of the meeting, I will give my report, which I am really excited to listen more. Thank you and back to you, Toastmaster of the day, Mr. Tawfiq. Thank you, Mr. VP and G for today, Mohammed Ricardine. Now I would like to call the speaker number one, but before that, let me just introduce the speaker number one for today in our agenda. That is Toastmaster Abraham Santosh. I just had a wonderful Instagram live podcast with him on this Saturday. And today he's here with his title, Beyond Walls. This is his level four, project one, leading your team with the path leadership development. But before I introduce my speaker number one, Toastmaster Abraham Santosh, let me call upon his evaluator, who is none other than our CGD DTM Khalid Jalal. He's a champion CGD and we certainly know him as champion chartered president of BITP in March, 2018 served as Area 3 Director, Division C Director, currently as Club Growth Director. Apart from all of his roles, he's actively participating in his first home club, which is BITP, and we love him for that. He has developed many leaders already in District 20. His quote says, it's not the end of the course, it is just the beginning. And together, we need to achieve more in coming days. Today's first champion evaluator, DDM Khalid, would be evaluating Toastmaster Abraham Santosh. So may I applaud and ask you to please welcome with an applause, DTM Khalid Jalal. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Taufik, Toastmaster of the day, the champion of today's event. And I'm happy and glad and excited to be part of all the champions and evaluate a champion today who is the club champion, area level champion and district level champion. So among the champions, it's my honor to read out the evaluation criteria of our champion speaker. Hopefully he will be a champion today as well. Toastmaster Santosh Abraham, you are attempting the Pathways Leadership Development Path Project number four, level four, project number one, leading your team. And the purpose statement of your project is the member to lead a small team to complete the project. And also you share some aspects of your personal experience in leading the team. For the timer, you already mentioned time is five to seven minutes, but keep a note of that once again. And I wish our speaker, 
All the best. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, DTM Khalid. My champion speaker number one, Toastmaster Abraham Santosh, with his title, Beyond Walls. He is the immediate past president of BITP. He is also a general manager leading for a reputed firm of IT. He is an experienced Toastmaster and lovely person with a persona to motivate the youth because he has the passion to develop the youth. He was a mentor in our youth leadership program, a challenging demeanor presented by him, a true champion. I wish him all the very best. Toastmaster Abraham Santosh, title Beyond Walls. Beyond Walls. Toastmaster Abraham Santosh, your virtual screen is waiting for you. Sir, sir, there's a wall that is risen up in front of our institute. What will we do? Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and my dear friends, how can a wall just grow up overnight? I've heard about fairy tales like Jack and the Beanstalk. But how is it ever possible in real life for a wall to grow up overnight? I was working as the assistant manager of the franchise of a, the leading computer education center in India. I was there at the institute the night before, but I did not see any unnatural walls. But at 8.30 a.m. in the morning, I hear large knocks on my door. I was just staying 600 meters away from that institute. And I opened the door, I could see the perplexed, anxious, pale faces of 20 students. And they screamed and shouted and said, sir, sir, there's a wall that is risen up in front of our institute and we cannot get in. And we looked everywhere for help, but we could not find a staff or a faculty in sight. I went there to examine the scene and the sight was startling and unbelievable. A wall has indeed risen up, up to the ceiling, preventing anyone with the chance to even jump over the wall and a notice was stuck in front of the wall, stating, this facility has been closed as the rents have not been paid. How embarrassing. I came to know that the manager, my boss, and the staff who visited the center in the morning had realized the trouble and decided to run away as they didn't want to face the wrath of the students. And the only person to be left with to answer them was me and another faculty whom the students grabbed on the way. And I also realized that even the faculty, the partners of that franchise had problems for a very long time because they were not the largest investor pulled all the funds out, leaving no money to pay for expenses. As the rent started spiraling up, the landlord decided to build a wall overnight to block entry into the institute. The students were naturally very angry and very worried. And the wall came in between. And I, I knew this was a very difficult problem. I called up the area office of the center of the principal company, and they were very professional to help. And they said that they will be ready to help even if the center owed them a lot of money. And they called this operation Rescue Kotem, Rescue Kotem based upon the name of the place where the center was located. And I asked, they asked me, would you like to be the person who would be leading this operation? I said, yes, without even thinking twice, because I sincerely wanted to help the students. And I was asked to team up, hire some team to read this, uh, do support this operation. I had the faculty who was there with me. And then I also hired and gave promotion to a lab assistant Two of the lab students to become instructors come faculties. And I also hired one of the senior students to become an admin assistant. And the area office was also very, very happy and very pleasant to even send some visiting faculties. By noon the next day, 40 students assembled next to that great wall. I did not see a sign of wrath or anger in their eyes. 
but only feelings of worry, concern, and helplessness. I stood up to speak to them. I was not a Toastmaster then. I was not a confident speaker. I was nervous and equally worried. I just spoke these words to them. I said, I can personally assure you that you will complete your education without any compromises. But myself and the staff alone cannot do anything. I need the support and cooperation of each one of you here. Together, we'll make this possible. And I said, this wall is not going to stop your dreams. Uh, my words were followed by a big applause and those worried faces were calmed down. But I knew that the challenge ahead was not light. Though the area office agreed to pay salaries for seven months, we had a deadline to complete these students in seven months time. Though they, they would pay the salaries, how am I going to motivate these staff to stay for that short period when they always had this option to get steady jobs elsewhere? And where was I going to train these people when the center itself was closed with a wall? And where will I arrange my computers to train them? One thing was clear, you cannot go beyond the walls and become a champion without great efforts. The students teamed up to help and they found a facility in the opposite uh, the, uh, apartment in the complex. It is not a big hole, but we divided it into four sections. One for the office, one for the lab and two classrooms. We separated them with simple curtains. The classes started full-fledged. We hired computers, we hired furniture, and everybody who was delegated with tasks did their jobs with utmost sincerity. And even the students who missed class earlier started coming regularly because they knew they had a deadline of seven months. And now the place was small. The students were very happy because they were much more connected. In that seven months time, I arranged two picnics that got the students together. When the students, we were a great family together. And when the students, graduated, there were farewell parties and treats. And we even managed to get placements for some of these students, graduated students. At the end of the seventh month, 92% of the students completed the education successfully. Just few of them were left to go to the other cities to complete. And the parting day of that, from that makeshift computer center was an emotional event. The area office considered this rescue operation of Kotiam as a very successful event, and they honored me as a champion and made me hired me as the area techno commercial in charge for the entire region with a decent salary. I also made sure that all my team members were placed in better positions in that region. One thing I have learned from this operation is that it is not important that we need to cancel and break the walls every phys physically for every wall that comes in front of us. But what is much more important is that every, some walls appear before us to test our creativity, find alternate ways to solve a problem. Operation Rescue Cotem is a thing of the past, but the experience, the lessons and the emotions will last for a lifetime. Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you. Toastmaster Abraham Santosh for beyond being a champion. Next speaker is Toastmaster Anisul Rahman with his title, Cloud, Where the Future Lies. Pat, Dynamic Leadership, Level One, Researching and presenting. But before I invite Toastmaster Anis, let me invite his evaluator, Toastmaster Arshian, who's working at Batelco as Information Security Associate. He holds a Bachelor of Engineering degree in Computer Science and is currently pursuing Masters in Computer Science. He's an active volunteer and surely a champion in marathon. He loves running. May I invite Sounder, sound or again. Toastmaster Arshian to please come forward and explain the project details of Toastmaster Anis. 
Toastmaster Ershian. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Tofik. I would like to welcome uh, my target speaker today, that is Toastmaster Anis Rahman, who will be presenting his speech. Title, uh, speech title is Cloud, where the future lies. As part of his chosen path, uh, dynamic leadership, level one, which is research and presenting. I wish him all the best as he takes on his second project. The purpose of this project is for the member to present a speech on any topic, receive his feedback, and apply the feedback to his second speech. It is also for the Toastmaster to demonstrate that he has applied the feedback received from his first speech. Again, I wish him all the best. Go be a champion. Thank you, champion Toastmaster Arshian. He's surely a champion in marathon. I'm sure he's going to achieve more in today's evaluation too. My mentee, all the very best. My speaker, Toastmaster Anish. He is full of action and results. He means to be a champion because he's oriented in ID professional assisting organizations with their digital transformation, vision and adaption of cloud solutions. Cloud champion assisting clients with digital transformation journey. My second speaker of a speakathon, Toastmaster Anis with title Cloud where the future lies. Cloud, where the future lies. Toastmaster and ease, virtual platform is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Comrades, champions, thanks again. The future is bright. The future is on the cloud. Gone are the days when dead boxes were considered as assets to any organization. Gone are the days when people used to hold on to the dead boxes and say, you are valuable to the organization. Today, when we look into them, how the IT and the entire digital evolution has happened, we say that these dead boxes are gone forever. Rest in peace. What happened? was the demand has increased. People changed during the course of time. What used to be a single box provide application or service has now grown or outbursted into something more of a requirement. Technology today, as you'll see, has gone. It's evolved or it has grown out of proportion. Angsters, everyone are talking of new devices. Angsters are talking of technology, we are talking of the next future. And where does the future lie? It lies completely on the cloud. So what exactly is cloud? Is it like the ones we see, where you have the white surface and water and rain? No, my dear friends, we are talking to the next level where the evolution has happened and people today, especially the next generation are already working on enhancing and improving the entire future across the globe. When you look into this, the major benefits of the cloud increases the flexibility, how exactly the entire security of your services are being offered. How exactly are the backup and the statistics are being done? How business continuity can be planned out and how we can collaborate better. What happened during the last 18 months? Each one of us know that each one, each every organization was impacted and affected by the pandemic. Can you deny the fact that you had to sit at home? Can you deny the fact that you were asked to work from home? No, this is the reality. The reality is you had to adopt to the latest changes. You had to adopt to the latest requirement. And the best requirement what could provide us was cloud. With organizations going back and forth, it became quite easy for them to adopt the new services. When we look into our day-to-day -day life, we have WhatsApp. We, you are now used to Netflix. Shall we not forget Google Maps? All these key features are now powered on cloud. 
cloud computing provides you much more detailed management. It would help you collaborate, communicate, have your analytics. Why exactly do you need this now? Looking down the line, 10 years back the line, you had industrial evolution that was in place. You had tons of data being made available. But how do you use this data? How do you make sure you reach out to the world and you say, okay, fine, I want to give a service which every organization, every individual can benefit with. Cloud is the gateway. Cloud is your solution. You can ensure that all your data will respect you on the different format you have, on the different security levels or the different parsing requirement. Everything can be brought out to a one single vendor, irrespective of your choice, be it Microsoft, be it Oracle, be it AWS, be it Google. You ensure your data is being taken to a platform and you can ensure your data can be given to the, the service to the people. Today, when you look into this, artificial intelligence plays a key role, especially on how you can shape the future. AI has always been the future step and then cloud provides you the very easiness to ensure that you can actually make it much better. Where exactly are we going? How exactly will this end? Pandemic has taught us students can still work for and learn from home. Do you not believe that Zoom, the one major application through which all our meetings are happening is cloud-based? Are you aware that the Microsoft team, that every educational institute that is adopting to is also cloud-based? You have your email services, more and more organizations, irrespective of the sector, be it banking, be it security, be it your public, everyone moving to the cloud to ensure their organizational demand, their connectivity and collaboration capabilities are being enhanced and can be utilized. So gentlemen, when you look into the reality, you are already on the cloud. You are already connected and been working on it. Let's look into the future where exactly does it provide. Cloud provides you the in-depth data security. Yes, though it's a responsibility, though it's a shared responsibility between multiple people, still cloud provides you a much better security on the cloud. Your data availability is always ensured that you can get access to your data on the cloud. Organizational demand in terms of compliance is quite easy to meet on the cloud. Looking at your data disaster recovery, looking at your business constitutive plan, everything can be planned at ease. Your governance, your ease of management, everything can be done straight out of the box. So now when you look into this, yes, gone are the days when the dead boxes were considered assets. Now you say that the people are your asset. The technology, the knowledge you carry on these products is the asset. And end of the day, cloud is here. Cloud is the future. Thank you. Back to you. Wow. Thank you, Ramesh. That's where we are. Big round of applause for Toastmaster Anis. We are on cloud, we are on Zoom, and we are live and we are being recorded and we are watched with world's global audience. Thank you for the lovely cloud that we have. Next, our speaker champion, number three, Toastmaster Gangadhar Rao, with his title, Embracing Failure, the secret sauce in project management, path, effective coaching, level five. It's an elective high performance leadership. To evaluate that, we have a lovely DTM, a smiling personality, a Toastmaster for seven years, a champion speaker, evaluator, and I'm also told that he is going to our table topics, which is an impromptu speaking. So lifelong fan of reading books and the beauty of language, teacher, trainer, mentor and coach, senior lecturer in the Banking and Finance Center at BIBF. His quote says, leave nothing but footprints, take nothing but memories, share nothing but knowledge. Our champion evaluator for today, DTM Hisham, 
least put the perspective of the project details of those master and gather around. The virtual screen is all yours, DTM Hisham Jiffy. Thank you so much, Mr. Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Taufik. Toastmaster Gangadhar is coming towards the end of a championship journey, and this is the culmination of his high-performance leadership project, the second speech. The whole purpose of this project is for Toastmaster Gangadhar to apply his, his leadership and planning knowledge to develop a project plan, organize a guidance committee, and implement the plan with the help of his team. So we will see now the culmination and the development, the delivery of this championship project, a well thought out plan with an organized and engaging speech. I wish Toastmaster Gangadhar all the best and I'm sure he'll come out nothing less than a champion. Back to you, Mr. T.M. Thank you, T.T.M. Hisham. The moment you smile, it brings a lot of motivation. So I'm sure Toastmaster Gangadhar is all set for that motivated speech of his. He's a senior management professional in program and project management, a seasoned ID professional with 27 years of experience, including 25 years of international exposure. He's got a proven track record and I can go on and on about his speciality, but I would let his speech today, which just portrayed by our DTM Hisham about the evaluation, and project perspective. So may I invite our Toastmaster Gangadhar with his title, Embracing Failure, the Secret Sauce in Project Management. Over to you and all the very best, Toastmaster Gangadhar Rao. The virtual screen is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Let me just share my screen before I start. Please ensure you have pinned the timer. I did, I did. Okay, I'm all set to go, timer can start. Yes, started. Thank you. The only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. The famous quote by the most successful man, Henry Ford. Today, my whole project experience, everything revolves around a lot of projects. But after long years of experience, still I am learning how to embrace my failures in the project or how to identify the mistakes. Embracing failure, the secret sauce in project management. This is my learning very lately in the projects because all the time I am busy enjoying the success of the project, always celebrating the project but never bother to notice what went wrong in the project. That's my whole exercise behind this HPL project where I took a different approach to run through the project instead of concentrating only on the successes and uh, achievements, what went wrong in the project, which can help me in doing better than my next projects. With this, I would like to Define one thing before I start, because failure is a negative word for any one of us, particularly in IT projects. But I want to say that redefine the failure in IT projects, or uh, technology said, whatever the projects we do. Failure is not a failure of project. What we are saying is that we did not simply, did we deliver, or but did we completely hit our mark? Because many times we say that we delivered the project, but did we completely hit our mark? At what level we deliver? This is also defines observing our mistakes or failures in the project. Also, were there things that could have done differently and better, even though the project is success? This is my failure in the project. The things could have been done better. This is one of the area I would define as the failures in the projects where we don't note down what could have done better and are done differently than what I, how I have done in the current project. Did we ante anticipate consequences? This is the great thing when something happens in the project, if we have anticipated this before the project, that is the biggest success because I am ready for it. Did we anticipate consequences that ensure and how successfully were we achieving the project goal? 
so this is what i am calling talking about a failures in project it's not a project failure it is a failures in project which is always parallelly runs with any success with that how do we manage these failures how do we embrace these failures to make the project better or our future projects better i took a small example which i tried to practice in my project a model simply to remember called arrays what is arrays how do we built into the project to look into the project the most important thing as i mentioned first thing e for embrace simply admit when a project completed simply admit how it has been done or simply say for example we did not achieve our goal in the promised timeline embrace it say it okay so whatever we need to accept it accept it embrace it in the project this is the first step which we take it in any project when it is over and when you say the next one the most important thing in the project is regroup when do the whole team need to regroup and own the reasons everyone everyone in the group own the reasons and take responsibility many times our traditional classic definition is the project leader takes accountability responsibility for all the reasons but the new culture which i am defining is everybody should own their reasons and take responsibility either it is a good one or bad one i'm not saying just failures everything but my focus here is what went wrong in the project so in a regrouping process we continue to do this uh, does anyone have suggestions or uh, please own the reasons that's what we do part of a regrouping process and this is the most honest truthful thing amends how do we do amends in any project always we should be grateful to say for example to a project stakeholder thank you for your patience if things are delayed or say we are sorry simple word if things are not went or exceeded their expectations or we were not prepared for this make it make a statement so these are the some of the amends which will help in uh, be honest and it can help you in your future projects the more you try to not to accept anything the the success rate will be remain same we have succeeded 80% in this project it remains 80% in the next project not 90% so the 20% is a part of amends what we do it in different ways different stakeholders uh, or the team members itself that is a one of the important step uh, which i have noted down this time in this project that we have done certain mistakes let us accept it and make it a better project next time instead of 80% i want to do 90% another important thing salvage failure should not be wasted but instead salvaged many times we don't learn from failures so much experience happens not in our small success our success largely happens from large failures as well from the failures how to salvage how to make recovery things this is what we learn i have not failed i have just found 10000 ways it won't work the famous quote by thomas alva edison this is what we want to achieve we always say that we learn how things doesn't work i learned 10000 ways that won't work that is important for i don't do the same things in the next project salvage is another important thing then comes to evaluate the most important thing when we do say how can we ensure it doesn't happen again evaluation is more important in any project have you ever heard of a word called undefeated champion every champion failed in their journey every champion success and failure is a common thing so all champions go through that phase of failure and success success is not always the goal and it feels great when we succeed but it is when a fail we deeply learn thank you back to you first master
Wow, lovely, Toastmaster Gangadhar. I'm sure your evaluator is making the notes. And so are our guests. Next, we have another champion speaker. He's been running the championship of champions in trying to run and get over awards from our very own CGD. I'm talking about Toastmaster Shakir. Today, he has his title, Fishing is Not Relaxing. It's a presentation mastery path, level one, researching and presenting. But before I call him, let me call upon our very charming, very beautiful, very vivacious. She was in our SOS team and I cannot forget her name. She also supported in BITP for Speechcraft. That's what my wife told me. She's a very good evaluator. I love her evaluation on the feedback that I got from my wife. She's none other than Toastmaster Mariam Rangat. She's a lawyer by profession and a certified trainer, a gold medalist in law and humanitarian serving NGO for women legal rights. She has various posts, but I'll go with just a recent one, serving as Area 17 Director. May I request her to please specify the project details and the perspective that Toastmaster Shakin would like to achieve with his project of today. Toastmaster Mariam Rangat, the champion speech with the evaluation is waiting for you for your virtual platform. Thank you, Toastmaster Mariam. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day for that wonderful introduction. Greetings, Toastmaster of the day and my fellow Toastmasters. Today, Toastmaster Shaquille Shayad Sheikh is embarking his project four of level one, researching and presenting of path presentation mastery. The objective of this project is for a member to learn and review basic research and present a well-organized speech on any topic. Timer, please note the timing of the speech is five to seven minutes. And the title is Fishing is Not Relaxing. All the best, Toastmaster Shaquille, and over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Mariam. Our champion speaker, our VPM membership, he's a passionate cybersecurity professional, currently serving as head of information security in Al Ahli United Bank, a proud father of a daughter who's studying medicine. He has deep interest in spirituality. He likes reading books and traveling. The VPM of our BITP was running the championship of champions, trying to get awards. And today his title, Toastmaster Shaquille Sayed Sheikh title, fishing is not relaxing. Fishing is not relaxing. Toastmaster Shaquille Sayed Sheikh. Virtual platform is yours. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Uh, am I audible? Is it clear? You're audible, you're visible. Yes, you clear. Please pin. Thank, thank you. Uh, President uh, Ahmed, DTM Khalid, IPP Santosh, fellow Toastmasters and guests, a very good evening to all of you. A good evening to all the champions. It was same nice and pleasant evening. I was reading a novel and after a hot cup of tea, it was a nice and pleasant evening. I was relaxed. I got a phone call from one of my friends. It was quite unusual for him to call at that time. I picked up the call. He looked very excited. I said, what's happening? You look so excited. He said, uh, what should I tell you? I have received an offer from a bank in uh, Africa that I can claim $10 million from an account uh, which has been lying dormant for some time. I started laughing. I said, what a joke. What are you talking? I said, no, this is not a joke. This is serious. Uh, and uh, I called them. They are a bank. And they told me how that uh, money is lying in the account and nobody is claiming there are no years. And they can transfer it to my account. I said, come on. This is a fraud. They are not going to give you money. They are after your money. He said, how can it be? They are asking my bank account details. 
I said, what? I said, yes, I'm gonna send them my bank account details. I said, come on, don't do that. Uh, I could not convince him. He ended up sending me the bank account details. And after two, three days, he called me back. He said, yes, you are right. They asked me to pay $10,000 as a processing fee for transferring the funds. I said, look, what are you thinking? He said, I'm still thinking, what should I do? I said, come on, don't send the money. Uh, he finally got convinced, did not send, but the calls kept coming from them. So he said, what should I do? I told him, tell them, deduct the $10,000 from the amount due and transfer the rest. Says that the call stopped coming. Well, uh, this is one case where we saved one of the possible uh, attack victim, phishing attack victim. These are very common. Every one of us have received similar phishing emails many times. We know them, we just delete them. They are very common, by the way. And even in uh, Bahrain, there are attacks through SMS, through voice calls. They send you a message. One of the messages I will show you that your CPR is expired, click on the link, fill the details, provide OTP, and you just get a message that amount deducted from your account. So let's see one area which is phishing by email and some of the statics is about that. Uh, can you allow me to share the screen, please? I'm sorry, I'm doing this for the first time. Okay. So uh, threats in phishing attacks. Uh, what kind of threats are there in phishing attacks? There are uh, commonly, there are three types of uh, threats. One is the, the links which are uh, embedded in the email and they uh, trick to click you on the links. If you click on the link, Something gets ordered on your PC, it's a malware, it can, it, it can steal your data or it can encrypt your files and ask you to pay the money. Second threat, data. They will ask you to fill information such as card numbers or uh, some passwords of your application like Office 365 or uh, provide <coughs> personal details, medical details. Uh, third type of attacks, uh, third type of threats in the phishing attacks are attachments they will incite you to open the attachment. Once you open the attachment, again, a ransomware can be installed on your PC or something gets downloaded, a malicious program, or even Bitcoin mining program. What are the different subject lines you see in the phishing attacks? These are very common subject lines. Request, follow up, uh, urgent important, invoice due, purchase, or deposit expenses. If you notice, these are very common uh, subject lines we see in our emails in the business day to day life. So we tend to open the email and trust it. And I'm showing you here one of the SMS message. It's a real message received recently in Bahrain by some customers. Phishing attacks failure rates. So in a study, they have found that 12% of people tend to click on the links in the phishing emails and 4% of the people are found to be uh, filling in the data requested in the emails. 20% of the people tend to open the attachments. And these are very high numbers. As you know, in cyber world, it takes only one. One person opens the attachment, the malware gets downloaded, that is enough for the whole organization to get infected. What is the impact of successful phishing attack? There are six impacts and those are highly shown here, like loss of data is 60% of the cases it happens, loss of data is account compromise. 47% cases ransomware infection happens. Phishing sites. These are the sites hosted by phishing attackers. And as you see at any time, there are 200,000 sites active in the world always. And they are slowly, slowly increasing. Most targeted industries, financial institution is one of the most targeted one because they can pay the ransom money. And the other industries are social media, payment system providers like PayPal and all, and SaaS providers. 
how to protect from, from phishing attacks the most important protection from phishing attacks is security awareness to create awareness among people how to detect the phishing email take action on it and uh, delete it and don't work on what they are asking you to do this is very important and in order to do that we should also simulate phishing emails so people can learn from it and we can know what kind of emails trick the people and give them more education and awareness there are also anti phishing technologies which can detect emails and block such emails but technologies are all, not always 100% successful that's why awareness is very important so always we have to educate people let them work on it and learn about it here is one email you see postmaster international is pleased to offer you a gift voucher of 100 dollar for being a member of the organization please click on the link below to claim your gift voucher how many of you will be interested in clicking i'm sure nobody will be so stay alert don't become a fish thank you all champions stay alert stay safe over to you to start today thank you toastmaster shakil i'm sure uh, CGD will be very happy saying more members clicking on that and you will get more offer. We recently launched one offer and we're still trying to sort out the flyers. Next Thank speaker. You. Thank you, Dr. Sanskrit. You're welcome. Can you stop sharing the screen, please? Yeah, yes, I'm just trying to do that. How do I close this? I don't see the option here. I'm sure host can help you. Well, stop sharing. He has become a victim of phishing already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is no option here to stop sharing. <laughs> phishing. <laughs> Close your presentation. Close your presentation. No, it is not an option there, actually. I will exit and join again, I guess. He's been fished out. <laughs> I think it's already stopped the presentation. Next speaker, the champion one that we have usually playing as Sergeant at Arms, and he did today. Thank you, Toastmaster Mahmoud, for the usual support and the Sergeant at Arms. His title, When I Became a CEO, he's taken the innovative planning path, level one, evaluation and feedback. But before I call up him, let me call upon Toastmaster Faiza Tucker. She's an educator for 15 years and a mother of two, a Toastmaster for three years and currently a president of SIMS, SIMS, T Toastmasters Club Kuwait, representing Division H, also in humorous speech category at DTAC 2021. Please give a big round of applause for Toastmaster Faiza Thakur to explain the project details of Toastmaster Mahmoud. The virtual platform is yours, Toastmaster Faisal. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Tawfiq. My target speaker, Toastmaster Mahmoud, is on his level one project of innovative planning project. And the purpose of his speech, of his project, is for the member to present a speech and apply the feedback to the second speech. The purpose of this speech is for the member to present a speech and receive feedback from the evaluator. Timer, please note, the time for his speech will be five to seven minutes. The title of his speech is When I Became a CEO. Thank you so much. And over to you, Toastmaster of the Day, and all the very best to my target speaker, Toastmaster Mahmoud. Thank you, and I wish you also very best, Toastmaster Faiza, being a champion speaker. You are a very difficult ah evaluator. Luckily, today you're not an ah evaluator. Somebody else is noting that. So thank you, champion Toastmaster Faiza. Let me welcome the speaker, Toastmaster Mahmoud, who is having the title, When I Became a CEO. He is a chief executive already at Virtual Thinko, experienced senior ID professional specialist with a demonstrated history of working in the banking and insurance industry. Strong ID professional skills 
That's what we have in BITP. Leaders and leaders. And our president always encourages that. So let me welcome Toastmaster Mahmoud al Daraj with when his title, when I became a CEO. Title, when I became a CEO, Toastmaster Mahmoud al Daraj, the virtual platform is yours. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Shakil. Uh, Tawfiq, sorry. <clears throat> oh, so you are a CEO now, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you sit uh, in a very nice office on the 27th floor with a nice view and do nothing but giving orders to the employees, huh? What? No, of course not. Dear fellow masters uh, uh, and, and guests, uh, working as entrepreneur as in a startup company, is a very challenging job to perform, especially when you start a new company from scratch. Uh, expectation is so high, optimistic, and you believe you are the champion that, you, that everyone applauds you when you speak, when you walk in the corridors on the conference. Unfortunately, it's not. The life of entrepreneur is not that rosy, unlike a well-structured uh, company that exists for years. A newly established company requires a lot of efforts to make itself successful, to gain the trust of the clients, to be considered as a figure in the market, in a difficult market like Bahrain. As a leader in a specific field, cybersecurity, digital transformation, application development, blockchain, or whatever field in IT, it's not an easy job to perform. When I used to be a CIO or a manager focusing only on IT part, I used to focus on technology. I focus on enhancing systems, improving uh, processes, Despite having a wonder, wonderful team that either uh, been in the organization for years before me joining that organization or newly hired, they get blended in the organization and everyone gets blended and becomes part of the organization culture. As a CIO, you don't care about the revenue, you don't care about marketing or end of month figures uh, that, uh, uh, that are tallying or having mismatch. Being entrepreneur, having your own company that you have to build and establish is considered a real challenge. Especially if you believe or if you have been successful in your previous jobs for years. So sales is part of your job as a CEO. Follow up with the clients as part of your job. Presenting your products to clients, following the accounting, ensuring uh, you are within budget, monitoring collection, monitoring cash flow, understanding the PNL. You are the CFO now. Writing the employee's contract, handling the employee's activities, approving leaves, writing the company's policies and procedures. You are the HR man now. Reviewing partnership contracts, being accountable and responsible of every agreement you sign. You are the account manager, you are the legal uh, person. Sleeping in the office to complete proposals before the deadline. You are the sales manager. You are the marketing manager. You are the office boy, you are the secretary. And the list goes on. You are almost everyone or you care about everything in the organization. So it's all about you. So with or for a company that is a startup company, you can make the company successful and become the champion or you are the one who's gonna fail the company and the close down the business. Thank you and back to you, TMOD. Wow, lovely. Toastmaster Mahmoud Adraj. Thank you. We have so many champions. It's very difficult to choose one. This is the second speakathon that we are running. 
and we have already a lot of champions with us today. The word champion itself, I guess, have been repeated by multiple personality today. And the word chosen champion itself may be taught plenty of times in mind before presenting in today's word of the day. The next champion that I have is our president, Toastmaster Ahmed Al Balushi, with his title, Power of Thoughts. He's taking motivational strategies path, level three, with elective focus on the positive. May I request his evaluator, who is a champion leader, a very well known in Bahrain, an amazing traveler within a short period of journey in Toastmasters International. He has left his footprints in several Toastmasters clubs around the globe. He's also in our D20 league. I love the way he speaks and his tone is brilliant. He mesmerizes you. That's why he was a champion in table topics, triple crown winner, IP, Area 12 Director, past president of Falcon Toastmasters, past vice president membership of Falcon and PGF Toastmasters. He has a long and big list to go on and I can continue till late night, but I, I will just keep it short. He's been in Bahrain for 24 years and that's enough to have his history. DTM, Hiller Vilayakit, Hiller Vilayakit, DTM, the evaluator for Toastmaster Ahmed al Baluchi. The virtual platform is yours. That was indeed uh, a brief intro, Taufik. And thank you so much for that. I have a quick question to you, Taufik. There is an interesting, exuberant uh, path introduced by Toastmasters International. And you know that which path it is, which motivates everybody, every moment. Mentoring? Motivational strategy. strategy. Yeah, fantastic. That is what uh, my speaker, Ahmad, is going to do. Motivational strategy. Well, the purpose of the speech, this project addresses strategies for improving Ahmad's personal interactions by understanding the impact of his attitudes and thoughts on daily interactions. And the purpose of this project is to practice being aware of his thoughts and feelings, as well as the impact of his responses to others. And today he's here with the power of thoughts from the elective topic, motivational strategy, level three, the second speech. So let us hear how he's going to inspire and focus on positive with his own power of thoughts. Ahmed al the floor is yours. Please introduce him. Back to you, Tia Mori. Thank you, DTM Khiller. Toastmaster Ahmed al Balushi is not only the president of BITP, he's also an area director three. He has 35 years of experience in the field of information technology, and he always believes in moving forward. My request, Toastmaster Ahmed al Balushi, the president of BITP, with his title, The Power of Thoughts. Title, The Power of Thoughts. Toastmaster Ahmed al Balushi, the virtual platform is yours. Thank you very much. Before I start, I just need to pen the timer. So I make sure that, go start the time before I tell you I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? I am ready. Started. Am I honest? Am I honest person? I'm not. And many people are the same. Why is that? Because we always believe that we are doing the right things. Maybe. Maybe when we were younger. Maybe when we were at younger age. We were thinking, we were building our experiences. Now, how we share these experiences, this is the main question. And this is how our thoughts 
is built. Hello, Toastmasters, dear guests, good evening. Thoughts are very important things for a human being. Why? Because they contain two important things and nothing but these two important things. Positive thoughts, negative thoughts. Now, thinking about which one will affect your life, both of them. Think about work, family, and friends. Three important pillars. If you think about it positively, you will say caring, supporting, being friendly. If you think about the negative things, arguing, hurting, being unjustified to someone. Now, how these things do you think will affect you as a person? Shift. Shift your mindset. Shift the way that you think. If I would share with you three positive attitudes, I love to help others. I love to see a smile on a kid's faces. I adore knowledge. Think about the positive way. I didn't do a good session over here. I think the people that didn't like my speech. See, you're calling this thing. You're calling the bad things. Have you ever thought about the power of active listening? Just repeat what you have heard and think about it once and twice before you respond back. By that, you will switch negativity by practicing positivity. Switch them. Consider that you, for example, your evaluator was motivated by the desire to help you become a better speaker and or a leader. Think about tools. Emotional intelligence is a great science to learn how to control your emotions by self-awareness. What is, what, is, what is self awareness? What is self management? What is social awareness? What is social relationship management? These are the main competencies in emotional intelligence. If you know how to manage them, how to practice them, then you are shifting yourself from the negative side to the positive side. Think about more things to make your mind more open. Have you thought about self-concept? Have you thought about self-talking? When you, when, you, when you practice the self-talking, you are talking about two things, conscious and subconscious. True? Think, I'll give you an example. A captain who is giving a direction to his crew. They are at the bottom. They do not know what's going on. What they would say? Hi, hey, captain. True? Why? Because they trust them. That's the conscious. And these crews, these are the subconscious. Think about an iceberg. You are seeing only a 20% of the iceberg. That's your conscious. Giving the orders what to do. Now, the 80%, it is your subconscious. They are working 24 hours. When you sleep, your conscious is, will sleep with you. It's dead. But your subconscious is working, dreaming, making decisions at the background. When you wake up in the morning, think about it this way. This is how conscious and subconscious will be. When you say, you conscious decisions, I will be doing good things. I will fight for my, uh, for my work. I will do this. I will do this. You're inviting positivity. You're inviting the good things. The same goes with the vice versa. So how do you do this? How you can do such good things, good positive things to, the, to yourself, to your family, to the community. Volunteer to help others. When you help others, you are inspiring them to help each other. Pick a specific challenge in your life in which you harbor negativity. Make. A list of goals you, you have accomplished and celebrate those achievements. Even if you cannot help, 
also have emotional support. Therefore, pay good attention to your thoughts. You can make meaningful changes in your life. Daily experiences of positive emotions will, over time, result in lower stress and higher resilience. Become a champion of yourself. We can all learn and grow from our achievements and mistakes. Be grateful for what you have and you are accomplishing. This is gratitude. Acknowledge challenges and problems you would like to overcome. Accept that you cannot control every situation. That's acceptance. Peace with yourself. Sit realistic. Sit realistic goals that challenge and excite you. You affect those around you in direct and indirect ways. Positive or negative, your attitude can influence others, even if you are unaware. The most important thing, feedback, remember this. Do not judge people. Give observations. Once you do this, you are sending a positive message. You are telling others, I'm trying to connect with you positively. Do not judge. Always observe and give recommendations. And with that, I would like to thank you and back to you, Master of Ceremonies. Thank you, our champion speaker and our president, Toastmaster Ahmed. Everyone has the fire, but the champions know when to ignite the spark. Today was a speakathon version number two from BITP in 2021. And I appreciate all the speakers and the guest speakers, the guest evaluators, and the distinguished guests who have joined us today and left a note. And those who haven't, please put your details on the chat box. We love to be in communication with you. We love to have champions, creation, and more joining BITP as guests too. Let me call upon our champion general evaluator to continue with the rest of the proceeding. Our champion general evaluator, Toastmaster Mohammed Wikaruddin, the virtual platform is yours. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, Toastmaster of the day. We have to launch the poll for the best speaker. Can you take the timings please before that? Yes, now we, later you can disqualify, but now we can make as a poll. Okay, so most of the time in the last we got the feedback to at least we need to launch the poll. So I'm launching the poll for the best speaker. So please vote for the best. So poll will be closed within 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. TMOD. Such a vibrant make the show for today's meeting. I really enjoyed. Before that, we need to give a huge round of applause for all our speakers. We have done a lot of great job. And with that, my evaluation divided into index seven. First, I will take the time report. Second, I do the evaluation. The third, I will do the time reports and fourth, my comments. Five, grammar and report. Fifth, account report. Then my evaluation is finished. Now with that, I request for the first time as a new Toastmaster has done a fabulous job. Timer, Toastmaster Ravi can have a report for our all speakers. Thank you, VP. 
and all toastmasters and i had a very wonderful session today and now i'm going to release the timings for the first speaker he took 7 minutes 15 seconds and second speaker he took 6 minutes 40 seconds and third speaker he took 7 minutes 36 seconds and fourth speaker he took 7 minutes 30 seconds and fifth speaker he took 4 minutes 22 seconds and sixth speaker he took 7 minutes 28 seconds so all are qualified a uh, fourth speaker uh, sorry third speaker he exceeded 6 seconds remaining all are within the limit thank you mr timer once again we have to give a huge round of applause for the first time he make his report wonderful so now thank you the theme for today is the pitp speech marathon people are going fast wow with the public speaking champions we have in bitp and our evaluator as well so i request next champion here all we have champion even the evaluator also champion we have the next champion the evaluation dtm khalid jalal to do the first speech evaluation over to you dtm khalid jalal thank you very much mr chan evaluator let me find the timer and pin him before i start are you ready no once again i'll just pin you i'm ready now started those master santosh abraham in your speech you prove what once henry ford stated by said coming together is the beginning staying together is a progress and working together is the success and you have combined all three elements in your speech today your speech is not just set of words but a set of motivational tools for making a project successful in a real manner through your speech you demonstrated various aspects of teamwork you started with defining what the problem is by where you mentioned that overnight wall was built in front of the campus and no one could enter and the reason was the rent was not paid and what to do that's a problem you took the lead and as a leader you start thinking and you came with a solution and you have built the confidence and the courage to go to the area operations team and convince them with your persuasive skills which you have also learned in toastmasters you convince them to support you and give an opportunity because you can bring a change when you work as a team with that skill you have convinced them to support you with the financials now the challenge continued how you motivate and bring the students back and that's where we, you use your techniques of giving them the guidance giving them mentoring them what they need to do showing them the path and you work with them as a leader and make sure that they follow you and they learn from you and you did not leave it there because they were part of your team you encouraged them and supported them and motivated them and when the right time came you also started appreciating them and took them out for a picnic which is a great gesture of appreciation to all the students and students life we all love to go picnic for some reason or the other and in a project one of the most important element is to show the success and you mentioned the success rate were out of 7 sorry 92% of your students were graduated and they were placed in the right places in terms of job placements i mean and others went to other areas look for other projects or prospects or for their studies and they also got a job and that is a real sign of success you what throughout your speech you are so happy and excited to tell the story because you are part of it and you made it successful not because you took it as a project but you took it as an emotional thing on you and you went ahead with a great voice modulations 
a great organization of your speech with start, body, conclusion, lesson learned, and great gestures, of course. The only thing I can say in between your sentences is slightly long in one or two places, and that's the only area you can improve. But otherwise, great speech, and I wish you all the best for your future projects. Thank you, and back to you, our journey value too. Thank you, DTM Khaled Jalal, for a wonderful evaluation for our champion, Toastmaster Santosh Abraham, and you are also champion of evaluation. Now, I would like to call the second evaluator who also will become as a champion. He's doing for the first time as a Toastmaster evaluation. So I request Toastmaster Arshian to evaluate Speech number two for Toastmaster Anis Rahman. Over to you, Toastmaster Anis. Sorry, Toastmaster Arshia. Thank you so much, uh, General Evaluator, Mr. Uh, Toastmaster Mohammed Vikarudi. So, uh, Mr. Uh, Toastmaster Anis Rahman, I commend your research skills where. Uh, all the usable cloud technologies were explained in such a short time. And as you rightly mentioned, we had to adopt to the latest technological transformations while being stuck at home during the pandemic uh, last year, all throughout last year, actually. Uh, and a lot of us in the technical field often feel uh, find it difficult to explain the importance of adopting to new technologies. And all of the applications that you mentioned, uh, we use in our everyday life. And your, your brief explanation of this cloud technology was very insightful for all of us. And uh, I did find your spoken language and vocal variety to be excellent. And your speech was well-timed as well. Couple of things that you may want to work on. The first would, uh, I would recommend making your presence felt by keeping your camera on for future meetings and probably working on your conclusion as well. Nevertheless, I would still consider you to be today's invisible champion. Um, to challenge yourself, I would love to see more of your projects where you can enlighten us with your championship uh, speaking skills. And that's all for my evaluation for today for uh, Toastmaster Anisa Rahman. Over to you, General Walter. Thank you, such a... Once more, our champion Arshian has given for the first time for him is we have to give a huge round of applause for his evaluation for Toastmaster Anis. Now we have a next champion, the evaluation. He's also a champion in District 20. Now we have to see DTM Hisham Jaffrey. He is doing evaluation for our one more evaluation champion. He's doing his speech. So Toastmaster Ganga Dharao, I request Toast DTM Hisham Jaffrey to do the evaluation for Toastmaster Ganga Dharao. Over to you. Thank you very much, Mr. General Evaluator. The only mistake is the one we learn nothing from. And this was the quote with which this champion started off the culmination of his pathway. Mr. General Evaluator, fellow Toastmasters, good evening to you. The High Performance Leadership Project is the crowning glory of the Legacy Program and also the Pathways Program. And in this particular project, Toastmaster Gangadhar demonstrated the leadership qualities, the charisma, and the virtuosity that is required to come out of this project. And why do I say that? Because through his voice, his dress and his confidence in the learning that he had, he showed what he had learned through the experience of the HPL project, implementing his vision, learning from the guidance committee, and then learning from the project itself. This was the first great point of this speech. Number two, I really like the fact that he had summarized his learning into this acronym, ERASE. Now that shows that he has gone the extra mile, done the reflection and come out of the project with a model that can not only be used to summarize his learning, but also as a model for us to use in future project management as well. That's the second great point in this speech. 
And third, I like the theme of his speech. Many of us don't like to talk about failures, but his whole speech was about failures. And he said, failures in projects are not project failures. We, all of us make mistakes, none of us are perfect, but it is important to know that it is crucial to learn from these mistakes so that the next project and the one after that will be championship in nature. Just as nobody is perfect, there's always room to craft perfection in the speech. And I have three suggestions in order to take this championship speech to its next culmination. The first one is that being a level five speech, it would have been nice to use TMI branded slides. So that shows that we have gone the extra mile in terms of paying homage to this wonderful movement that we are part of. Second, if you are referencing data from another author, it's important to use a proper referencing style because at the bottom of the presentation, it was mentioned Colleen Kameen, University of Washington. So if you are using material from another person, it is important to reference it. And finally, I had three questions and that was, what was the project? Who were the guidance committee? And what was the implementation of this project? Because the project guideline specifically says, you must share the learning from a specific project. In summary, confident delivery, good use of an acronym and great performance. Look through the branding, the specificity of the project and the referencing, and you will truly prove that you are a champion. Thank you. Back to you, Mr. General Evaluator. Wow, another wonderful evaluation from DTM Hisham Jaffrey, who is also a champion, and we are all our champion. Now, the next evaluator, Toastmaster Mariam Rangat, all, all the way from the Kuwait, thanks for this virtual platform. We have a international audience as well as the speaker is coming from the Kuwait. For evaluation for speaker number four, Shaquille Sayed Sheikh. For his evaluation, I request Toastmaster Mariam Rangat, over to you. Good evening, General Evaluator, my fellow Toastmaster, and my target speaker, Toastmaster Shaquille Sayed Sheikh. I am sold how eye-opening your speech was and loved the passion of your delivery with significant data. Your speech is such a timely topic and objective is fulfilled. I'm hooked from the beginning and got curious about how will you put all the data into five to seven minute speech? And there you started. Fishing is not relaxing. It was really a wonderful start. And you give an example of your friend how he became victim of the cyber scam. Very impactful opening indeed. I would like to take a couple of minutes to share with you the strength of your speech, some opportunities for improvement and to provide specific action to address those opportunities. I saw you are a confident speaker and your strength is your pace, effective use of tone, speed and volume as tools to engage the entire audience with interesting and effective communication. What a wonderful eye-opening speech. The title itself says it, the opening is bang and the title is correlated with the present scenario the entire world is facing, phishing, a cyber crime. You divided your speech into three categories, types of phishing, data related to it, and the measures. In types you explained like threads, link data attachment in subject, request and payroll, you show the data related to phishing attacks, failure rates, impact of successful attacks, and also the graph of the sites and most targeted industries. And lastly, you explain how to prevent from being a victim of such a scam, security awareness, analyze and anti-phishing technology. Take away lesson and passion is undeniable. Only points of improvement is your stage moment. I find stage user usage was none because you deliver entire speech standing on the center. It would have more impacted if you would have used the stage by dividing your presentation into three to five parts. Your presentation was moving so quickly. I couldn't understand some of the concept as it was displayed, but not elaborated. Maybe too much of to digest as a layman. I believe anything that touches your heart will always remember by your head. The ending was really remarkable. 
you ended humorously with add on entire concept the, with, with adding a pinch of humor. Amazing thought provoking takeaway message. I was expecting few more related examples to explain the concept in little detail. You did well on your poses, but it would have been more impactful had your gestures been more exaggerated like this showing a little rage and anger when innocent people get targeted by such scam. In a nutshell, I enjoyed your speech. If you continue to set your strength of stick to content with relevant example and wonderful takeaway message with add on a pinch of humor and focus on improving by showing little gestures and not using less or using less slides and more details of each segment of the subject. Your next page will be a memorable journey for an entire audience. Let me conclude by wishing you all the best for your future speeches and over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you. Wow, one more great evaluation. Our champion, Toastmaster Mariam Rangat. Such a wonderful evaluation. Now with that, I would like to go for the next champion evaluator, Toastmaster Faiza Thakur, to evaluate Toastmaster Mahmoud Al Adraj. Over to you, Toastmaster Faiza Thakur. Thank you so much, General Evaluator. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests. So, you sit on the 27th floor in a nice office and just give orders to your employees? Oh, the grass is always green on the other side. We always feel the same, whether we are the employee or the employer. We feel the other person on the other side is always there either to do everything or do nothing. Like in the case of my target speaker, Toastmaster Mahmoud. He being an entrepreneur and starting his business, the expectation on his shoulders were really very high. This exactly he, what he conveyed in his message today. The message he conveyed was loud and clear. Being a leader, the expectation from all over is very high. We Toastmasters do experience such things when it's a meeting, the expectation from the viewers, from the Toastmasters, from the Toastmasters fraternity is really very high. And today, being here in on this platform of Toastmasters, I could really relate to your problems. The expectations from your fellow employees, from the market was really very high. And you really gave a wonderful speech. Like the words you used, like accountability. Being a manager, or being a leader, I should say, you took over different roles from sales manager to a office boy. The reason, because you had to run the show. Leadership is not about vision. It's the responsibility. It's responsibility and not the power. This exactly was your message in your speech. Now, the areas which I would like to recommend you would be when you're a leader and being a true leader, look into the eye. I would just suggest that if you would have that eye contact when you were giving your speech, we could understand that power of being a strong leader in you. Some, something more which, which I like to suggest would be use a lot of eye, uh, voice modulations in your speech. When you started your speech with a wonderful dialogue, the ending would also be 
used with some dialogues that could give an impact to your speech. Next would be like, you could add some humor in your speech. Like when you started with your dialogue, there was a kind of, you know, we could relate with the, the powerful message you wanted to give. So when you wanted to end, you could just give a powerful message again. And then the theme of the, your complete message which you wanted to give would be given across in a powerful way. Overall, your, your speech was a wonderful speech. We could, we would like to hear more about it when you could say that how being a leader, you were able to run your for a firm, you know, you know, with impact, having a proper and a good relationships with your employees. So overall, all the best. Would like to hear more of your speech. Thank you so much. Over to you, our general evaluator. All the very best. Thank you. One more champagne evaluation from Pfizer Tucker. I request our members to raise a motion to extend 20 minutes because we are not finishing. I raise the motion to extend the time. Thumbs up. Our president has to approve that motion. <laughs> Somebody has raised the motion. <laughs> Um, what is the time now? It says 2025 and this is 6 1. Yeah, we need 20 minutes. We shouldn't think this much. Okay, we will all approve for, for 20 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Can, can somebody has a second that? Decision evaluator, the time extension raised by our president. I second that we can extend the time by 20 more minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Now with that, we have a next champion evaluation. DTM Killer, evaluate our president, Toastmaster Ahmed Baloshi. Over to you. Thank you, uh, general evaluator, Vikarudin. Let us have some time. Can you quickly uh, pin, uh, bring uh, my speaker? I just want to have a quick question to my speaker, President uh, uh, Baluchi. Are you there? Yes, thank you so much. Uh, before the time starts, I, uh, my question is to you. I mean, is it the only, you can unmute, is it the only path you are doing right now or uh, there is another path you are advancing? Uh, this is the only one because I'm doing my uh, DTM journey. This is the second pathway for me, level three. So I'll start now sending a message for the DTM journey. Okay, the first part, which one was it is? Motivation and aspiration. No, the first part. This is uh, your current part, motivation <laughs> strategy. And we all motivated. Uh, the first Dynamic. one. Dynamic leadership. Fantastic. Yes, great. Thank you so much. Back to President. Yes, timer can start. Congratulations, Speaker President Ahmed Baluchi for inspiring us from a great speech from motivation strategy and explaining uh, the power of your thoughts. Well, it was a, a great a speech and great start. And my quick uh, advice to you, since you have done the uh, dynamic leadership, your body language explains that you can do one more uh, path, which is leadership development. And this is the time like to motivate people and coming up, with, coming up with powerful thoughts. You ask a provocative question, which most of the speakers do to hook the audience within the first 30, 40 seconds. Am I, I'm an honest person. I'm sure it is really a provocative question. <laughs> and suddenly he was coming back and saying, no, I'm not honest. It is really interesting that I was looking at uh, his head and, uh, uh, for the next comment, is it uh, true? Is he an honest person? Well, it is really interesting that uh, to start a speech, 
to ask a question to the audience for them to uh, confuse their think process and engross to your speech. Well, it was well done. Suddenly you went ahead with the magnificent, the philosophy of the magnificent thoughts, which is, again, you are very much aligned to the speech objectives. You came and you explained the audience, the important inspiring, the importance of uh, thoughts, either it is uh, negative or positive. The philosophy of, uh, uh, like the importance of controlling emotions, the importance of having self-awareness about emotional intelligence, self-talking. These are all really great points that we have to uh, incorporate in the speech. Well, when you, you can bring some personal life experiences to the speech, because the objective says, the speech objective is specifically asking you to do an experiment, like keep a daily record of your moods and attitudes for a minimum of two weeks, noting when you feel positive or negative, your success and efforts, and three things for which you are grateful. Record and evaluate any changes in your behavior or the behaviors of those around you. This is one of the objective that uh, you may have to uh, look into your next speech. You can do it again. The body language used throughout your speech, exuberant. You use the background very wisely aligned a third to the project. You kept a white background, which itself saying our mind has to be open, clean and empty to receive positive thoughts. Overall, the speech was extremely uh, motivating and met most of the ob objective and body language was super. All the best in your future project. Thank you, DPM Killer, for a, such a wonderful evaluation for our president and the champion speaker, and as well as you are a champion. All our champion here, I am so happy. Give a huge round of applause for everyone, all our champion here. <laughs> so with that, I request to our Zoom master to launch poll for a best evaluator. Close in five seconds. One, two, three, four, and five. With that, thank you. Now, I request our wonderful timer. We will give one more huge round of applause for his timer as the first time. Great. Can I have a report, Tosma Savavi? Thank you, thank you, champions. I saw today so many champions and everyone did their championship. Now I'm going to release the result. Evaluated one, uh, he took three minutes, 30 seconds. Evaluated two, he took one minute, 33 seconds. Evaluated three, he took three minutes, 15 seconds. Evaluated four, he took three minutes, 29 seconds. Evaluator 5, uh, she took 4 minutes 50 seconds. Evaluator 6, he took 3 minutes 25 seconds. Among all these, all are in the limit except Evaluator 5. She took 4 minutes 50 seconds. Thank you. With that, we have to give a huge round of applause one more time for our Toastmaster Ravi. For a first time, he has done a fabulous job as a timer. Great leader in you. Thank you. Wow, great. Now, as per my report, timer first report is finished, evaluation finished, timer report for evaluation finished, now my comment. Wow, what a wonderful meeting start by our Sergeant at Arms. Wow, you, we have to give a user of loss because all are champion here. <laughs> and after that, we have a nice opening by President.
opening the meeting call meeting to order with gavel wow what a magnificent start by our president introduce guest wow this is how it should be and he is given his presidential address and after that has introduced our dynamic leader or dynamic star of district 20 as well as all over the world our toastmaster of the day wow what a great opening and keep the show on wow lovely keep it up my mentee as well i am appreciating wow what a wonderful you have to give a huge round of applause for our toastmaster of the day toastmaster tofik has done a fabulous job after that he has given all the introduction in detail and brief one for all the speakers i really enjoyed our all champion speakers wow as we said in toastmasters you have to make your self improvement not for the champion but here i see all speakers they have done a uh, fabulous speeches i see some of the feedback personally everybody is watching only the speeches and listening doing the report and they are doing only the speeches wow what a wonderful full speeches from all our speakers then come to our evaluation wow what a great evaluation it's looking like i am today sitting in the contest the way which introduced by our tmod it's looking like we are like in a contest wow great opening by bitp give a huge round of applause for supporting the guest evaluators to encourage our speakers wow what a great evaluation now once again we have to give a huge round of applause for our timer and now i need to give our report from our our counter can i have a report from the our counter did we have a report of a grammarian yes okay thank you and uh, mr grammarian wow one more also we have to give a huge round of applause for our toastmaster sayed abbas he is doing his evaluation for the first time as a grammarian <laughs> he was thank a you <laughs> Over to you, Toastmaster Sayyid Abbas. Thank you, Toastmaster Muhammad. Okay, just I want to say I really enjoy, okay, all the speeches, okay, and uh, honestly, I was uh, listening, okay, to what the speeches that trying to say, okay, and I was happy with it, and I didn't try too much, okay, but I see, okay, Toastmaster Mahmoud the Raj, okay. he used the word of the day champions okay many times okay and at the same times uh, mr president ahmed he said one quote which is i like it okay which is i feel it is really we need uh, to think about it a lot okay that's what he said that we assume we know everything okay and sometimes we are uh, this is i think it is at something uh, human beings okay they are always uh, thinking like this but i don't have anything to add it okay as a grammar okay or a words okay what i can say i really enjoyed uh, all the things for me was uh, great okay thank you all of you those masters friends okay i really enjoyed back wow. to you master mohammed Wow, what a great evaluation for the first time he was afraid and he was not knowing but you have done a fabulous job you have to give a huge round of applause for <laughs> our first master Sayyid Abbas <laughs> done a great job as a grammarian for the first time here our all new toastmasters like I am in a champion mood today wow great now we have a next role player thanks to toastmaster Noha accepted A invitation in the last one hour. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your accepting as a role as the accounter. Over to you. Give the report, please. Thank you very much, General Balwater. Well, to be honest, I don't know why am I here in the first place, because the champions today were playing a symphony, and I would say it was the minimal amount of uh, as and ums. was mentioned in this meeting but there are few who fell out of tune and i shall mention them 
first of all, we start with our vibrant sergeant at arms. He had two us during his uh, opening segment. And in his speech, he had a combination of our uh, and and of. Uh. Moving on to our president, Toastmaster Ahmed al Belushi, in his uh, greeting segment, he had three us, two arms, but as a speaker, he didn't have any us nor any arms. Toastmaster Tawfiq didn't have any us or any arms, so one of our champions today. And then we have our timer, Toastmaster Ravi, congratulations. I think doing the timer role is one of the most uh, complicated roles in Toastmasters meeting. You had three us and repeated and, and Toastmaster Sayyid Abbas as our grammarian. He was okay because his favorite word was okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Moving on to Toastmaster Bikar Dean, I tried to catch any filler word, but I found only one A. Uh. Distinguished Toastmaster Khalid Jalal, as usual, no A's, no A's. Toastmaster Santosh, two small R's in his speech. Toastmaster Aryashan, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly. He had two A's, one, one so, repeated and. DTM Hisham had no R's and no arms. Toastmaster Anis, no R's and no arms. Toastmaster Gangara, two ends. Toastmaster Maryam, no R's, no arms. Toastmaster Shakil had two R's, two arms, and one so. Toastmaster Faiza had one and, one like, and a combination, combination of you know and them. And Last but not least, Distinguished Toastmaster Pillar had few hours on his evaluation. That's it for my report and over to you. Yes. One more thing, one more thing if I can add. Um, having pillar words for us and um is a habit. When a habit emerges in our brain, it stops fully participating in the decision-making of this habit and focuses on other tasks. But the good thing is that it's always reversible. So practice on your arms and arms and pillar words. And what I noticed uh, with Toastmaster Tawfiq being the one who was speaking for the longest period during the meeting, he didn't have any arms and arms. And because he was speaking, slowly taking his time to digest Mama, the idea please. and present it to us. And that concludes my speech and excuse my daughter. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Nuba, for a wonderful uh, arms report. I notice also you are also not doing any uh, arms. Now, with your permission, Mr. President, I need to give some recommendation. Go ahead, but you have only uh, two, three minutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Now for the what I need to recommend, Mr. President, you have made the sequence is correct, but you have to make the accept the apologize whether receive officially or unofficially, and establish a quorum was missing, and adopt the agenda. So these are the three things was missing. So next meeting, if you can apply, it will be great. And for the timer, uh, make sure you use virtual background. It will be better because we are in the virtual world. So the card was there if you are in presence meeting. So that will be for the area of improvement. And for the grammarian counter, I don't want to keep any more comment on this. Already president has mentioned, we are already extending the time. With that, I really enjoy it as a general evaluation and uh, our DTM Khalid Jalal, he's my mentor, an unofficial mentor, Dostmaster Santosh Abraham, and our founder member is Ahmed Baloshi. I inspire a lot from them. And for the first time, my membership enrollment done by our Dostmaster Mahmoud Adaraj, I never forget that one. He has made me, his eyes on me, that's why I am making myself improved. Thank you with that. I really enjoy it as a general evaluator and back to you, our vibrant
close master of the day tofi and with that i need to launch a poll for the best role player thank you those masters i think i will skip this because i am involved in that i voted for you on behalf of you the poll will close in 5 seconds 1 2 3 4 and five thank you with that over to you thank you mr vp and general evaluator toastmaster mohammed vikaruddin we are between the champions today what a lovely evening we extended yes but it was very inspiring very touching and we got to learn a lot of things toastmasters dear guests once again i want to state that we are most grateful to you all for being here for so late some of us joining from india some of us joining from kuwait we love you being with us this evening it has been a great pleasure and now i would request our the vibrant dynamic the motivating champion our president toastmaster ahmed al bulushi to please announce the results okay, those master okay. ahmed the screen yeah, is thank you very much thank you very much and with that thank you very much we have only 4 minutes from the extended time i would like to thank everyone in this meeting for attending our members our guests for being here with us honoring us with uh, your presence and treasures your your comments and and your feedbacks evaluations speeches whatever which we have done tonight moreover i think that the message has been delivered yeah and you can deliver the same through your social media accounts whatever you have the things that you go for the outside world it is the right place for everyone to learn and as i said i learned you learned everyone in land over here remember only one thing in toastmaster do not judge people never judge people provide feedback provide observations and this is the, how they enhance their skills and their, their, their talents thank you very much and uh, let me announce the winners for tonight although everyone as our mr ipp says everyone is a winner no one is a loser so we have here our best role player for tonight is also it's not none but our vibrant toastmaster of the day toastmaster tofiq thank you very much for performing this excellent role also we have the best evaluator i always say it's is very hard to to beat someone like our owner tonight but also i have loved the way that toastmaster uh, my evaluator actually my fantastic evaluator toast gtm killer and i loved the way that he was speaking excellent one but also there is only one winner so the winner for tonight is toastmaster hisham congratulations and the best speaker and this is speaker son he and also nobody can beat him easily this guy i love him because he speaks from his heart toastmaster santosh congratulations and with that i have only one minute i would love to ask our guests about their opinions how is the meeting but i don't think we have time for that but we would love to um host you in our next meeting inshallah thank you very much for being here tonight and thank you for your presence for your contribution with us and we apologize if, if we extended the time with 20 minutes but we will try our best for our next meeting that we stick to time inshallah thank you very much and with that i announce the meeting to adjourn thank you very much now we